You know, uh, in America, we always believed that college was a ladder up, but with student debt, it can be an anchor weight down. Uh, my father was working class. He was an exterminator. I struggled to get through college, but when I got out, I didn't have any debt. It was, the college was much less expensive and you could work and make a decent salary and uh, you, you didn't do with debt. Now, so many people have a mountain of debt on their shoulders. Americans owe $1.7 trillion, 9 million students, former students are in default on their loans, gets worse and worse and worse. And it just holds everybody back. It holds you back from deciding where, what path to pursue, to buy a car, uh, to do so many other kinds of things. And it holds our economy back. And one of the amazing things about this is the racial wealth gap. Uh, black and brown communities are shouldering a larger burden of the student debt. Um, the average black borrower owns more than 100% of their loan balance even after 12 years of college. So this is not only a problem for the whole country, for the economy and for stu students past and present and their families, but it's also uh, part of the reason that we have such a division between black and white and wealth and income. We wanna solve all that and by, we believe that President Biden um, is legally has the authority to cancel up to 50,000 in student debt through executive action, a flick of a pen. That means uh, Sabrina and Daryl and Kendrick and Taniva. You don't have to go through Congress. You don't have to worry about all that. He's done some good things, the president has, but we'd like him to go further. And uh, we know particularly now with COVID-19 ravaging the economy, so many people out of work, so many people having even more difficulty to pay their debt that we ought to go do this right now. So for so many reasons, we'd like them to do it. And your testimony is gonna really help us uh, convince everybody in the country to do it.